Hey guys, Amanda here. Uh, so, um, I've talked about this before, um, but I've never heard these words actually come out of my mother's mouth before. And, um, that's bothering me, so I figured I would talk about it. So, I've been told a lot of times, um, especially when my son was younger, uh, because of his behavioral problems, um, before he got a lot of help for that, um, I was told by a lot of people that I was a bad mother and that I was doing something wrong and all this stuff. Um, I was even told by um, an in-home support service that right in front of my son that I was a bad mother and that I was the reason he had autism. And um, all through the years my mother has never ever said anything like that to me and that's one thing that I thought was really great but um, I feel like that was ruined tonight because um, my son is having a hard time doing remote learning and um, I told him that because he was, you know, not going to classes and things like that, and he wanted to take Monday and Tuesday off um, instead of going to school Monday and Tuesday and then taking the break off for Christmas. Um, and I said, well, you have to complete all your assignments, anything that is overdue or current and then you have to work out what you're going to do with the work for Monday and Tuesday with, you know, your advisor and whatever, teachers and whatnot, um, and, you know, behave and all that stuff. And, um, and I said, and at the end of the week I will email and find out if you are telling me the truth. So, you know, I'm trusting you to be responsible and show me that you can do this. And I emailed her and she said that he had missed uh, two of his classes. I don't know if it was just a one-time thing or if it was uh, more than one day. Um, but she did say something interesting, which is he has a lot of um, work that needs to be done in all of his classes except for P.E. So I wasn't really happy with that and earlier my mother and I were having a conversation and I was just trying to express to her that I felt that he needed consequences because I said, you know, since, you know, the remote learning, I've no, you know, he's had, you know, an attitude with her a lot, um, you know, not talking real nice and things like that. and. I asked her, so what exactly is the um, consequence of the, that action? And she said, well, I give him a look and then it makes him feel bad and then he knows that he hurt me and then he comes down and apologizes. And I'm like, so his consequence is to make you feel better? To me, I don't know, does that seem weird or is it just me? Because I, I feel like that's not really a consequence and she asked me what kind of consequence and I thought, well, if he disrespects you like that, you know, um, take his phone away or something or make him, you know, do work outside or whatever, uh, something, um, you know, other than just giving him a look. I mean, I, because I, I feel like that particular way of doing it isn't really teaching him anything. It's 
a way to make herself feel better rather than him learning anything about the situation at hand. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, and I just said, I just feel like, you know, we were, we were talking about it and, um, I was just frustrated and I said, you know, if, if he decides that he doesn't want to put any effort into school, if he decides that he doesn't want to do it, he doesn't want to go to class, you know, I said, then what does he want to turn out like, like me right now? Um, I mean, I, there is a possibility I could go back to school at some point, but I mean, if he doesn't learn now to put in the work and, and, and to learn how to do stuff now, he will struggle because um, life just gets harder and harder and harder. So um, I was just like, I, w I was saying out of frustration, like, then what can I do for him if he's not gonna if he's not gonna do anything? How can I do anything for him? And she took that as me saying, "Oh, so you're gonna give up on him?" And that's not what I meant. Um, I didn't mean I would give up on him. I meant I would be frustrated and I wouldn't know what to do. And she took that as that. And I, she said. Um, <sighs> She said that, um, I don't remember if she said good or real, but she said either a good mom or a real mom would, uh, not do that, make that choice or something like that. And I'm just like, are you calling me a bad mother because I want my son to learn consequences and to be uh, productive in life. <laughs> like, that's what I was thinking. I didn't actually say that, but that's what I'm thinking. And now I'm wondering, um, am I wrong? Am I a bad mother? Am, am I making the wrong choice because I want him to succeed and I want him to do the work and I want him to put effort into it? And... All that stuff does that make me a bad mother I don't know um, one this is making me very uncomfortable because I just I don't I don't agree with what she thinks about what I said um, she mistook what I said completely and then kind of turned it around and made it like, I, I, you know, and like I said, this is the first time I've ever heard her say something to the effect of me being a bad parent. So, I don't know. Maybe I am, and I just don't know it. Maybe I can't see it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um... I don't know. I really don't like that she said that to me. I really feel like I'm a third wheel and that I am really just in people's way, honestly. That's how I feel. Yeah, she made me feel really bad about that. And I don't know if how I feel is how I should be feeling or if I'm carrying uh, emotions that she's actually feeling. I don't know. But now I'm questioning myself. Am I a bad mother? Or am I not a real mother or a good mother or whatever the heck word it was? It doesn't matter. She finally said it out loud, so. <laughs> well, anyway, I just wanted to get that off my chest, so, um, I did. All right. Thank you for watching. I love you all. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I hope you're good to one another. Uh, stay safe out there, and I will see you on my next video. 
Bye, guys.